a shalom, shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles, elder bishops, a great millstone, peace and blessings to you fellow brothers out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity about Chanak. Doing a, a quick lesson, this is going to be um, kind of impromptu in transit, you know, um, and I, what, what happened was I was, you know, getting some water at the store, you know, and um, just thinking to myself, like, damn, we got to actually, you know, to get water. And then the water is not even the, the water that you buy, you know, I fill it up like a five gallon drum. Even the water that you buy, that it's not even completely pure. But the thought was just, you know, I was just shaking my head, you know, little things that vex you. I'm like, damn, this, you can't, there ain't nothing pure. You, Esau done fucked up the whole earth, you know? You you got literally go to the grocery store and get bottled water, you know, or, you know, if you want clean, if you want somewhat clean water, because remember, everything is defiled. If you want somewhat clean water, which water is a uh, is a resource that's it's a, it's a, it's a, a necessity. It's, this, you can't this, this is non-negotiable. Right. But even, here, here it is. The devil don't mess it up. And um, a title just came to me. Just, you know, the spirit just hit me. You know, uh, the God of the Bible um, will put down or get rid of. That's that's what it, that's what you know came to me. The God of the Bible will get rid of those who destroyed the earth. You know, I'm a little all over the place, you know, but just bear with me. Let me, and you know, you should probably already know where I'm going. Revelation 11 and 18. That's the, the, the first precept. And, and mind you, this is all impromptu. That, that was the first precept that just popped into my mind. Like I said, just getting some water, you know, trying to, you know, you try to do the best that you can. You, you don't want to drink faucet water. I mean, that's, that's plain. You know what I mean? I mean, that, you doing that, you, you don't really care about your health or you just ignorant of the fact, but you shouldn't be ignorant of the fact. Okay. In, uh, the digital or the information age, Okay, where everything is polluted, will even go going into Rome, uh, Rome's water system, because they were known for having the aqueducts. Rome's water system was also polluted. They had um, heavy metals. Okay, which well, this is Rome 2.0, and it's gonna go out. Okay, um, not necessarily like Rome, which Rome was taken down. It's gonna be destroyed utterly. Okay, the most is going pretty much you know do away with those get rid of those who have destroyed the earth okay revelation 11 and here's the precept revelation 11 and 18 and the nations were angry and thy wrath has come yeah the heavenly father's wrath that's getting ready to uh you know um be full force in the earth is the wrath of the heavenly father you see every year there's you know more uh weather systems that are just you know record breaking you just had that that uh, cold snap that killed a whole bunch of people. OK, when hurricane season come around, it's going to be record breaking hurricanes. OK, there's uh, out here in the West, Northern California, to my knowledge, you know, I'm out here. It's been damn near uh, an earthquake of, a, you know, four, four point five, four point six, uh, six point oh, damn there every week, you know. And the time uh, of the dead that they should be judged. Right. The heathen, the heathen are the dead. OK, because they have they haven't been given the spirit of life, which is this knowledge is truth, this understanding how, how to actually manage the earth, how to treat treat the animals. Now, mind you, the heathens, they do a better job, yet they are also on a vibration of Esau, which he don't give a goddamn. He's the actual man of sin. OK, he's the. uh was it called uh in the in the movie planet of the apes he's a harbinger of death right Habakkuk speaks about that he's he is as death and cannot be satisfied only a devil will destroy the water this nigga gotta drink it too but you know he you can't um well like uh bush said you can't well uh what, what, what the nigga said he said uh you can't uh negotiate with terrorists okay so you can't negotiate with these devils. You can't, um, you know, put reasoning into their, to their head. The scriptures say uh, um, he would not learn righteousness. 
in the land of the upright he will deal unjustly okay because he's the devil okay which is the accuser the deceiver and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets there goes the reward okay and to the saints the israelites and to them that fear thy name small and great so the greatest man you know starting with the head apostles all the way down to you know the smallest uh you know the woman and child man okay that that feared Yah Basham al Shai that were elected from the foundation we're all going to receive that same penny essentially okay now, now the I mean as men we're all going to be kings and priests okay but hey all the elect are going to have a position in the kingdom we'll just we'll just leave it at that and and should it destroy them which destroy the earth see so starting with Esau, which he he's going to be done. He's going to be done away with. OK, not only is he destroying the inhabitants of the earth. Damn, damn he ain't got no arms. Slock it. It's all dewy he, he and no arms. And uh, he had the little bionic arms on. But uh, yeah, starting with uh, Esau, who not only has destroyed Okay, and trying to tamper, and well, not even trying. He's tampering with the heavenly Father's creation on on, on a a, um, a biological level, on a DNA, RNA, uh, uh, you know, nano level. Okay, actually trying to change your change your ass into a GMO. Okay, into a genetically modified organ. He he, I don't. Some, this, this dude, something's wrong with this dude. I mean, it's just he's the devil. That's all. The Most High created him to be unjust he's he's crooked right so not only is he just trying to destroy the heavenly father you know his, his creation starting with the israelites he's destroying the water he's destroying the air he's destroying the trees he's genetic gen, genetically modifying the, the fish you know he's he's experimenting on all creation now now he want to merge you with machine so so here it is he polluted all the the, the, the water you know i had this thought you know, a few few days ago, I was just you know just thinking about nature and how pristine America used to be before Esau, the, the goddamn devil, came. You know where everything was pristine. You can go and drink. You know we that thought of oh the water's polluted that didn't come into our head. Okay, not not even the other nations were literally just and and they heathens now Elam you know he Elam threw. You know, and everything's degraded, but just generally, you wouldn't just go and pollute your water, okay? And really, those big cities—that's a uh, a creation of uh, Esau Edom to hoard everybody into these uh, cities of control, okay? So he can he can you know uh, social socially engineer you. He can take you from off the way of you know uh, cu cultivating the land and being self sufficient. So even these other nations that are in this low state, it's really because of the damn devil, will, will the scripture say, and the nations were angry, as we just read. But that last part, should it destroy them, which destroy us, the earth. Okay, essentially, Esau, you're going to be done away with because you destroyed the earth. Here it is. We got to go and get uh, water. Okay, but, and, and that's the best water you can get, essentially, you know, spring water. You know, even uh, reverse osmosis, which is all, which really is all trash. You know what I mean? Oh, even if you get the, you know, the most hydrating, uh, alkalizing water, you're still sick. Okay, it's in a plastic bottle first and foremost. Okay, it's dead, it's stale. Water is supposed to be moving. It's supposed to be, uh, um, you know, um, living. Okay, it's supposed to pick up. It, it has a. a I believe it has a positive charge. It's one or the other, a positive or negative charge. And as it moves through the different minerals and, you know, you know, the water system, it picks up. It picks up a negative, a negative charge of the minerals. I forget exactly the science breakdown, but basically you, we probably to get everything from the earth. The, the, the most side made everything perfect. You ain't got to go into the deep science, this and that. Well, Esau, he knows all that. And, and, he still doesn't do right. You know, let me let me get that. Let me give me a second. Let me get the scripture. One 
second. One second. Yep. Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked. Right. Esau is the wicked. Okay. Yeah, there are wicked people on the earth. Okay. There are wicked so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans that overpass the deeds of the wicked. Yet you have a man in power that's destroying everything. That's the wicked. And the inhabitants of the earth, they take... Um, they, they're, they're liking or they follow after. That's the better word. They follow after the leaders. Okay. So who's the biggest thug? Who's the biggest, you know, uh, uh, you know, trafficker? Who's the biggest sinner? Esau. So as Yahweh Shai told the wicked scribes and Pharisees, you know, those wicked Israelites, what did he say? He said, year of your father, the devil. See, he was referring to Esau. He wasn't, he wasn't speaking about the spiritual demon Satan, which they, you know, those are the works of the spiritual demon Satan. But the spiritual demon Satan, he works on the physical realm and people. Okay, his main vessel being the man of sin, Esau. The vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. Okay, let favor be shown to the wicked. Here it is. He, he got the whole world in his hand. He was given the fatness of the earth. Okay, he, he was given the, the, the choice places and the dominion over all creation. The most high gave it to him. The, the, the heavenly father, he set up, up one and he bring him down another. So he, he brought us down, right? And then he he you know allowed Esau to come into power. And look, look what he's look what this guy has done in just such a short time. That's why the scripture is referred to. Okay, if the if the if the heavenly father didn't speed of the time, speed of the time, no no flesh will be saved. Okay, he, he would genetically modify all the foods. There would be no more meat. He literally wants to um, genetically modify you to where you have an aversion to meat. You have a, a food allergy. Here is you, you got these food allergies. Well, I can't eat milk, you know, bread, you know, you know, wheat, and eggs, because that's Esau. Okay, now, of course, sometimes, you know, it's your diet, your digestive system's all messed up. And there's certain herbs you got to take and, you know, cleanses you got to go on. But for the most part, those allergies, you know, it'd be because Esau done tampered with the wheat. He done tampered with the corn. He done, done tampered with the soybeans. OK, and, and damn near everything else. Then he hit you with all type of heavy metals and the baby former that your mom thought that was cool. It had heavy metals in it and that pairs. A lot of this shit got parasites in it. So, I, I mean. I would go on a parasite cleanse, me personally, which I've done many of times and have actually purged parasites. Okay, you could you could do raw garlic every day, three, three cloves. I'll leave it at that. Okay, yet will he not learn righteousness? See? He won't he won't learn righteousness because he can't he can't get it. In his mind, polluting the, the, the earth is not really a big deal. Well, we'll just go to another earth. We'll just go to another planet. This nigga Elon Musk. Yeah, uh, Mars. That's a that's like a fixer up planet. Nigga, we got a whole planet down here. What do you mean a fixer up? Because the way that he the way that this dude moves and how he thinks, he destroys everything. Her back at the second chapter. He's at he is as deaf and cannot be satisfied. So he can't have things running perfectly the way that the most high wants it. He it's it, it's literally in him. He's created. He's created to do it. That's what you Jace got under. He's created to go off. I'm not talking about your average everyday, you know, so-called white person. OK, because even though you a person looks white, that don't mean he's, he's an actual Edomite. But even the low level Edomite, they is Edomites. Right. We're speaking about the rulers. OK, the elite. The mountain of Esau, the mountain of Edom. OK, the ones that have all the power, the ones that control nations, the ones that control resources and dictate what's good, what's bad, dictate what's uh, righteous, what's unrighteous, how, how you should think. You know, they're the ones that are in charge of the earth and they're the they're the ones single handedly. I mean, all Esau, too, as you know, as a whole, you know, they're all as a whole. They have no care for the earth. You know, well, they're uh, they're they're a curse. Let me let me bring that out. Going back into Cain. Um, 
or is it the uh, yeah i believe it's king or it might be the serpent but that's esau pretty much coming back i believe genesis give me a second Give me, give me one second. I might just have to search it. Um, let me bring this out. Genesis three and fourteen. And the Lord power said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, meaning cursed above all creation. OK, uh, above all peoples, because this is speak the cattle is speaking about a man. And above every beast of the field upon thy belly, thou shalt go. And dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life. So the most I was going to put this man in a confused state. He would he wouldn't give him common sense. He wouldn't give him the upright way. OK, to to rule and, and how to rule. OK, that's why we received the law, statute, commandments. Read Deuteronomy four and five. OK, we are supposed to be this righteous nation, which we, we are the righteous nation of the heavenly father. We're going to be placed back into that lot, you know, in that position, I, sh I should say, you know, in the very near future. OK, um, it's, it's, it's even happening right now where we're calling for the destruction of this place okay in the setting up of the nation of israel but the heavenly father he cursed he cursed uh uh the serpent which is the spirit of esau he came the serpent came back as esau there, there was a group you could actually say it was a group of the people uh of that of the serpent okay because you had the edomites back then they just weren't being called the edomites you had the sons of the most high the sons of the power the sons of men okay and the sons of the wicked which which came which came back as the Israelites, okay, the Edomites, and the heathen nations, okay. But that that's a good one. Uh, let me see. Give me a second. I think it's what um Cain. One moment. Let me just see if I can just search it. Yep, yep. So you, you see, oh, that's that's heavy because the serpent got cursed, right? And then Cain got cursed as well. See, and and the heavenly Father in Malachi, uh, uh pretty much called Esau his curse, the, his cursed people. Now, we have curses on us that hold us down, hold us back. But we we were promised that those curses, those curses were going to lift off of us. Esau's actually cursed. Now, this is after Cain killed his brother Abel, which is the same spirit of Esau coming back, trying to kill his, his brother Jacob. It's the same story. It's, it's the whole it's, it's the same story plays out. OK, because as the scriptures say, there's no new thing under the sun. That which is then is now being reincarnation. So the servant came back. OK, that spirit came back in Cain. OK, and then that's then that Cain spirit, which he was cursed, that came back as Esau. OK, and he's multiplied in the earth. And now today you have the Edomites. But remember, you have levels to the Edomites, not just your average everyday Edomite that, that don't know what's going on. They're just fodder. They, they're just they're, they're you know, they're nobodies. Let me just go to the point. Genesis four and and nine. And the Lord said unto King, where is thy brother Abel? And he said, I, I know not what's the word. Cain Kayun means weapon. And what was the blessing of uh, Esau? It was the weapon by the by the, uh, by the sword. Thou shalt live. So it's, it's all spiritual. Am am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Right. Because Abel went into the spiritual world and was complaining to the most High, saying this nigga killed me. He came up. He just rose up against me. And now art thou cursed from the earth. See. So he's actually cursed when he goes outside. He gets burned by the sun. That's why we, we need to 
We need to actually send a nuclear missile at the sun. We need to block out the sun. We need to pollute the water. We need to make this more, you know, benefit because these things are actually against him. Nature is against him. He can't he can't live amongst, you know, uh, you know, different wild animals. And, you know, everybody, you know, respects each. You know, you you know, all the other tribes, all the people, they live amongst, you know, jaguars and animals. You know what I mean? Deer. And for the most part, you know, everybody stays in their, you know, in their place, in their, uh, you know, their property, so to speak. Now, we are above all the animals. So we have preeminence above the animals, but we, we uh, you know, as is, especially as Israelites or as a human being, as a, a creation, you should have respect to your animals. A righteous man, as the scriptures say, will have respect, OK, of his animals. Esau does it. He's cursed from the earth, going back all the way to uh, Cain, going all the way back to who? Uh, 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 the serpent. He was he was a uh, curse. Well, let me just read it. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which has opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. So there's a, a battle of creation against Esau. Creation is actually against Esau. Why do you think? He, he has such an infatuation with technology, which is, you know, his creation, you see, because the heavenly father's creation is against this man. I mean, th we can go more into that, you know, that's that, you know, it's not a heavy breakdown, but we can, you know, pull more out, more out of that at a different time. OK, if the spirit uh, allowed, but there's correlation, OK, between the serpent OK. All right. Uh, Cain. All right. And Esau is really the same spirit. <laughs> it's, the, it's the left hand of the Heavenly Father. Right. This is, and then you have the same correlation between Adam. OK. Um, and, 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 and the chosen line going all the way up into Yahweh Shai. OK. I'm going to go back to Isaiah 26. Let favor be shown to the wicked. Yet will he not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness, which is the land of Israel. Will he deal unjustly? Do we even have to break that down? This this dude in the land with gay parades, uh, you know, you know, praying over pork, kosher and pork, kosher and cigarettes, cigars. OK, killing, killing, killing people in the land, allowing mosques to be set up. OK, none, none of the dietary laws are, are, are followed. None of the um, the the marriage law, none, none of the uh, law statute commandments are actually um, followed. OK, so what is the Heavenly Father going to do? He's going to destroy that place. He's going to destroy. And we, there's many scriptures where you have, you know, he's in there, went into that land and the both side had, you know, wild beasts come in and, and get their ass. But this time it's going to be that fiery flying serpent. OK, that's going to destroy them damn devils out of that land. <laughs> OK, because you fucked up everything. And excuse my language. I ain't want to curse. OK, but shit, you, we got to drink out of plastic bottles. And if you don't find that's the issue, then there's something there's actually something wrong with you. OK. And will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Right. The, the heavenly father's power. Right. Because the Lord, he'll give you, li you know, liberty. You know, we, we got liberty down. Ultimately, we know it's all control. But in a sense, we have liberty to either do good or bad, to either respect the Heavenly Father's ways or disrespect his ways. OK, and he'll give you a season in which he's going to, you know, try out and test out your your works. And what's what's getting ready to happen is the Heavenly Father is getting ready to to, um, you know, uh, as it says, uh, make inquisition. OK, and, and I believe that's in the, in the book of Second Ezra. Forget exactly what chapter, but it, it goes into making inquisition, which is, um, you know, uh, essentially critiquing and, and really looking into this man's. Uh, uh, his ways, his works on the earth. OK. And then what is he going to do? Well, you're going to receive. Let me let me bring that out. <laughs> you're going to receive what you what you've done. Okay, I mean, that's just, that's plain. All right. 
It's just, you know, it, it was Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 because, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. You, you don't understand. You don't understand the Heavenly Father and his works and how he gets down. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I believe that's not what I wanted. It's one in Galatians. He don't just judge you instantly. Okay. Right. And we, we let's read it. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Okay, so don't be deceived by this. The Most High is not mocked. So you don't want to uh, 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 uphold his his majesty, meaning, you know, follow his way. You don't want to do that, right? That, okay, you, you know, I'll do whatever the hell I want to do. I got free will. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay, cool. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So don't get mad when the judgment comes. Don't be surprised when the Most High, he confronts your ass. All right, because you, hey, and, and, and it's cold, the Lord cold blood. He'll allow you to prosper for a minute, a good, a good minute where you, you don't even think judgment's, you, that's not even in your mind, judgment. <laughs> Let me stop. Judgment's not even in your mind, then boom. And that's how Esau's getting ready to go down. Okay. For he that soweth to his flesh shall, of the flesh, reap corruption. So, the, the, hey, everything's corrupted. Why? Because that's what Esau has sown. And and the rest of this world, even two thirds of our people, they they're sowing to the flesh, which is corruption. Right. And us coming back into this knowledge, the heavenly file opening us up to this knowledge. We didn't we didn't we didn't find it on our own our own will. The heavenly father, he, he had mercy upon his people. OK. All right. So and what are we doing? We're, we're, we're sowing to the spirit. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. So as the scriptures say, I, I have set the I have set um, um, life and death in front of thee this day. I'm vaguely paraphrasing. Right. Basically, choose which one you want. Do you want life or do you want death? OK, you, you, you want you want sin. OK, you want to do do as thou wilt. Right. Uh, uh, America, do as thou wilt. Do this, do that. Or. Do you, do you want to not, you know, participate in the works? You want to eschew evil like like Job. OK, you want to be vexed with the filthy conversation like Lot. OK, uh, Moses, it said that he rather uh, uh, suffer with the children of Israel than to uh, than to enjoy sin for a moment. Because remember, look, sin is only for a moment. OK, all, all that that those feel good hormones that sin make you, you know, you know, which is nothing other than just a rebellion, witchcraft. OK, there's power in witchcraft. Yeah. OK, we'll 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 acknowledge that the scriptures say that. But that's not the way. What what brings what what um what manifests after that? You read what you sow. Destruction. OK, corruption. All right. And let us not be weary in well doing for in due season we shall reap if we feign not. Right. We're going to reap everlasting life. We're going to reap a world that's not uh, cor corruptible. We're going to reap clean drinking water where you drink the water, you get charged up. <laughs> you, you could just and oh, and by the way, you ain't got to pay no goddamn body, no money to actually drink the water. It's free. It's yours. OK. The, the earth is not going to be polluted. Just that very alone trees and, and beautiful flowers and the scents. You wonder why you got anxiety. You wonder why you anxious. You wonder why your back hurt. It's because everything is out of is out out of balance. Everything is destroyed because of because of this man. But remember, the most high is going to destroy those who destroy the earth. He's going to he's going to put he's going to do away what eat him. OK, let me bring that on and we just going to close it. Because he's the wicked. And if you can't get it, there's nothing we can do. OK, you, you're probably not of the elect. Um, Obadiah. All right. Obadiah verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. Not only the violence against us, which that's really why the Most High is getting ready to destroy you. But because, I mean, really, you destroy the earth. Are we not of the earth as well? 
Okay, our bodies are of the earth and you're destroying it. So that 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 lines up as well with Revelation 11 and 8. But it's really against the Most High has a controversy against Esau because of us. There's a controversy of Zion, what you've done to the so-called black span Native Americans. And then you just kind of like, you know, swept it under the rug. Oh, it's not talk about. Oh, OK, that, that happened. Whatever, whatever. Just here, here, nigga, get a job. Here, nigga, here's a basketball. Here, nigga, here's 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 some beer. Here, nigga, you got you got some weed, right? Why are you complaining? You free, right, my nigga? OK, but every, you know, things happen to the small hats, you know, they'll throw it in your face, which nothing really nothing ha actually happened. OK. So the heavenly father has not forgot about that. He he's going to recompense uh, Esau as well as the other nations. But the other nations are not going to get they ass kicked like the Edomites are. The Edomites had perpetual hatred, man. They, 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 you, you talk about, you know, love, love thy neighbor, you know, forgive. He, Esau want to push, forgive. He don't forgive nobody. You, you, Esau, you mercy. What about mercy? Esau, he don't give nobody mercy. The scriptures even say that how he, he, uh, you know, he didn't show no mercy to the old or the young. He put the yoke upon you here. This old, you know, old, old man, old woman. And now in this society, they want you. Oh, the old white woman, the old white man. You got to respect them to the utmost. And, you know, you can't say nothing. To, you know, you can't do nothing. To, but here it is. This nigga, he was killing, killing us. And he didn't give a shit. So fuck this guy. OK, most I going to destroy him. Let's read it again for, the, you know, it kind of rouse your spirit up a little bit. For that violent, everybody wants us to just forget. Here, nigga, shut up. Just, why are you complaining about it? We we moving in the future, Ock. Okay, look, look, we let's think about the future. We we trying to build something. Nah, we we can't build nothing unless this place is destroyed. Then then we can build. Everything's good. The wicked is not in power no more. Okay, the earth the earth is gonna rejoice. Read Isaiah the fourteen chapter. Okay, the earth is gonna break break forth into singing. Okay, because this damn devil, the oppressor of the earth, okay, where well, it said in that very chapter that he ruled the nations in, in anger. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. So we ain't, we not going away, okay? We not, we not going to change our tune, okay? We going to keep bringing it up, all right? Because the Most High, he will be an unrighteous power. He will be an unrighteous God if he didn't do nothing to this damn devil, <laughs> Okay? And we know that the Heavenly Father is not an unrighteous power. There, th th let me let me bring that out. I think that's second. I was going there. Yep, Second Thessalonians. Give me a moment. He, the Most High, be unrighteous. If just just let bygones be bygones. Okay, Second Thessalonians one and six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. See. So it's righteous for the heavenly father, okay, to get this damn double. All right, we ain't gonna we ain't we ain't gonna close our mouth, okay. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and now shame is covering you because what? Now you're being reproached. Now these things are being brought up, and you don't wanna you don't wanna you don't wanna hear it. And thou shalt be cut off forever, okay, forever. It's gonna come a point in time in the kingdom. All right. Where what you going to be done away with. There will be no more Edomites. There will be no more oppression. There will be no more need for the wicked. OK, because you destroyed the whole earth. The most is going to put you out. He's going to do away with you. All right. You know, a quick lesson. I pray, you know, lesson was edifying. Until next time, shalom, shalom to the left.